Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. BPAL Picks Edition. Of course, BPAL Picks. Go to the Patreon there. It's not just about hockey, by the way. Nail and tennis picks. I'm having a little bit with clay, the clay court this year. I haven't, like, I'm only hitting like 60%. I usually hit around 80 on tennis. But uh, we're still making money. And the weekend, woo! Wow, we did well on the weekend. Uh, especially this last, uh, on Sunday. Well, not especially Sunday. We hit everything on Sunday. But uh, anyways, I'm going to get right to picks. I was out, I, uh, it was Mommy's Day. I took the little lady out. We went, uh, had some ribs. We drove around everywhere. She just wanted to drive. So we drove around everywhere. And I uh, spent the whole day doing that. I got a little bit of time. A little, I'm a little bit, I missed a few naps today because of that. And it's, uh, it's getting close to Betty by time for me. So I'm going to get right into it. I will tell you that for the year, we got, what, uh, four more days of hockey for the regular season. And we're up 53 units, 53 pearls. So, yeah, we're doing well. Uh, go over to Patreon. It'll be in the bio. If you like to make money in Frolic, you'll like it there. Okay. Let's go to our picks. For tomorrow, I got them in the background here, and we will look at those. Let me just make sure that's centered. Okay, let's look at them. Okay, Edmonton, Montreal. Edmonton just traveled all the way across Canada for this game. Montreal is hurt all to injured all the crap. I really, it. This is a tough one, honestly. Um, the money Montreal is getting dog money. At home with Edmonton. And, and Edmonton's not a good tired team. They're, if their legs aren't moving, this team's fairly easy to beat, to tell you the honest truth. I'm going to go Montreal ML. I'm going to take the Canadians on the money line here. As far as the over-under, I'm uh, six. Probably under six. Yeah, under six. If Edmonton's legs aren't moving the way they should. Now... There's a whole bunch about this you need to know, and this is really a good reason why it's nice to be a Patreon member. Um, I update people throughout the day on certain things, like, for instance, the Washington-Philadelphia game on Saturday. I was I started watching the game, and I realized that the ice was absolute garbage, which teams do, by the way, on purpose certain things, I do believe. Anyways, it was garbage, so I messaged it out. Live bet the under, whatever you're getting for an under, on the Philly-Washington game. And sure as heck, it was under. So you get little things like that. But this is the second to last and last games for these teams. If you could see Edmonton, I could see Edmonton throwing in. Um, I always want to say Corpus Allo. Uh, Koskinen. Could put in Koskinen here. That could change things. I'm definitely going Montreal if they put Koskinen in. His last start, he let four goals on and in and four shots. Uh, uh, maybe they go with Primo here. Start giving Allen some rest for the playoffs. I would if I were them, personally. I would do that. So uh, we'll see if we'll see if they do. So the, things can change. Right now, that's the reason I think that there is no confirmed goaltenders for tomorrow. Islanders versus Boston. Okay, the same sort of thing here. Islanders, I'm guessing, will go with Sorokin here. Boston, on the other hand, this is going to be a back-to-back, -back, so it's hard to say. They're probably not going to play one of their goaltenders on a back-to-back. -back. So, actually, it'll be Varlamov versus Rask. I'm going to go under on that, and I'm probably going to lean Boston with Rask in net. Um, not, but my, the better play probably is the under Tampa Bay versus Florida. This is an interesting game. Uh, Drigger is still hurt. I think they're saving him for the playoffs, trying to get him better for the playoffs. I think you'll see them play him a lot more. However, Bobrovsky hasn't been playing too bad. Here's another one where they could consider putting McElhaney in here at Tampa Bay. That is in which case I'm looking towards Florida. 
If Vasilevsky is in, though, I'm going to think that Tampa is going to be a little bit uh, uh, flush in the face, a little embarrassed about the last loss to Florida here, and maybe come out and play like they can. Be a nice dog pick. If Vasilevsky is in net, I'm probably going to go Tampa on the ML. They're giving him dog money. If not, I'm probably going to go Florida. Uh, as far as the total is concerned, uh, they're probably doing a six here. Again, if Vasilevsky's in, I'm, I'm pro I am don't know. Oh, it's five and a half? Oh, yeah, over five and a half. Over five and a half. Oh, I got to send that out. You can get five and a half at bet online. It's already moved up to six on other uh, cards. So, uh, yeah, over five and a half. Chicago versus Dallas after Dallas got embarrassed. Chicago should almost certainly be going with Subban and Nett here. I think Dallas will bounce back in this one. I'm going to take Dallas on the money line with uh, uh, the kid in um, Ottinger. Uh, but I'm just going to go on the money line. It's tough to pick here when both teams are. I took Chicago yes, yesterday or today, um, which is the ninth, is it? Yeah, ninth, the ninth today. I took them today because I thought Dallas was going to have a letdown day after, you know, it being completely that they've missed the playoffs. I think Dallas will get it back together and want to end this on a high note, though. And could possibly win this game, especially if Subban is in that, which I think he likely will be. Carolina versus Nashville, sort of like what I was saying with uh, the la in the last game. Nashville had everything to play for here now. They're in now. And I think that they could be a little bit on the – Taking her easy side, I guess you'd say. It's just relief. They're in a relief mode now. They played their bag off to get here. They may be putting Rene in net. I think Carolina will probably go with Reimer. So I would lean the over here. You're getting good money on the over. Um, just because the teams will be playing loose. Uh, you know, like Carolina's already in. Um, I did want to look at, and I should have looked at this before. Or does Car is there any oh no Carolina has clinched too so and they're going to be playing each other interesting uh, in the in the playoffs but yeah I think Carolina pulls it up pulls it I think especially since they're going to be playing each other in the playoffs I I like Carolina to really make a statement here uh, Brenda Moore will have them that in in their minds. And if Rene is going to be a net, I'd slip the over in here now. If it's going to be Reimer or Rene, there's a very good chance of over here. I like the over. Uh, Vancouver, Winnipeg, it's a toss-up. Um, I would take Vancouver puck line. You're, for the money you're going to get, what's the money line? You're only getting 158 on Winnipeg against Vancouver. Vancouver can keep this to close. Uh, sorry. Spread. 165, might as well. Winnipeg hasn't been able to score. I don't know if they're going to play Demko or not, or will Winnipeg even play? They'll probably play Brassois. I think there's a very good chance Vancouver will at least keep this close for the money. Uh, at least just as good of a chance for Winnipeg is winning, and you're getting less money for the win for Winnipeg. And I don't like it in regs, so I'd be going Vancouver on the puck line and as far as total, over five and a half. You might want to look at a grand salami here. Uh, that's uh, over the total for all the games, if you can find that out. A lot of overs here. St. Louis versus Los Angeles. Um, I'm going to go back to St. Louis. Um, I, they could play Huso again. Or that's going to, it's like, again, yeah, goaltending is going to be huge here. Um, I think Los Angeles will keep on going back to Peterson just to give them, keep on giving him games for the for the regular season next year. Quick is should be retiring. We'll see. Maybe they play Quick to give him a game. He, he's probably going to play the last game, 
So I think Peterson will be the one here. And uh, I think St. Louis will pull it out, but I don't think it will be overly convincing. However, I don't like the spread. What do you get, 159 for L.A.? Yeah, just take St. Louis at 174. That's a, that's a pretty good bet. Colorado versus Vegas. Vegas won the last one. Colorado's just too injured. Um, I th Again, it's going to be goaltending. I think Laner and Colorado doesn't have Grubauer again. So they're going with like Johansson. And, or is Grubauer back? Is Grubauer hurt? Or did he just not play to give him a rest? Okay, let's see. Sorry about that. It's Colorado. Okay. Now, Grubauer could play this game. I think they may play Grubauer here. But is McKinnon going to be back? I it hasn't been determined yet. So, interesting. Right now, I want to say McKinnon's out. They have too many injuries. I'm going to go with Vegas. I'm going to go with Vegas. And I think it's five and a half on the total. Yeah. You might as well slip a... Oh, look at... There's another one where it's mixed. I got to throw that out. On Patreon. Because I like five and a half. Over five and a half. Okay, Vegas and over five and a half. Well, thank you all for subscribing to my channel, by the way. It's awesome. One of my favorites is Best Bet Ed. Do you ever watch him? Man, that guy gets a lot of views. I don't know what he does. Tell me what I should do. Tell me how I can be more like Best Bet Ed. <laughs> uh, I love the guy. Anyways, um, go check him out. He's fantastic. He's one of the cappers that I listen to. Um, I don't think he's up 53 units, though. Pretty sure he's not. <laughs> I love you. Okay. I guess that's my full 42. I'll see you. I hope you had a great Mother's Day and all of those fine things. Uh, I am going to uh, go have myself a little bit of a rest now after all that ribs I was eating. That's pretty bad, eh? I need a nap because I ate too much. First world problems. Have a great day, everyone. Go check out the Patreon in the in the uh, description there. I'll give you a free month. And it's not just hockey. We got baseball. We're going to be doing heavy UFC stuff. Uh, all kinds of stuff like that over until hockey starts again. So you'll be making lots of money no matter what. Tennis. My tennis is absolutely off the chain. You'll make your money back. Have a good day. Okay. Bye.